Hi, Dean from In His Image Ministries. It's been spending time on this revelation of God that Paul expresses so vividly in such pictorial language in, in, in the book of Ephesians that the whole plan of God was about the Ecclesia. And we know in chapter 4 it talks about Christ's gift um, being spread through apostles and prophets and teachers and evangelists and shepherds whose purpose, express purpose, is to bring believers into complete maturity, the full stature and fullness of Christ. And then it goes on to say, you know, what, why? So that the, that the design of God, the, the purpose of God, was that, that those believers aren't pushed around and shoved from side to side by new trendy revelations and the latest fad, and, um, but are stable in their faith. Stable because they have the full knowledge of the faith and the full knowledge of who they are in the Son of God and are, are doing the work of ministry, are putting their faith into believing, into action. And so expressing the cross that's alive in them. And, and what is that purpose? So that the whole body, the whole ecclesia, becomes a body. And I was meditating on speaking the truth in love. Now, well, what if you don't have the language of love? What if your upbringing stunted you and you never learned how to express love because love is not just one simple thing it's a compound word it involves all kinds of things kindness gentleness goodness all these things are expressed in love but what if you don't have the language what if you can't express yourself what if you grew up and your parents never once said they love you? How will you express love? Will you even have the language? How can you communicate with other people? If you can't communicate what, what's coming out of your heart, both the brokenness and the wholeness that Christ is doing, how do you even recognize what the emotion is? And whether it's beneficial or whether it's a hindrance. So it's vitally important that at this time we learn to express love. Not just with hugs, not with a little to the cheek, but from a place of a solid foundation in Christ Jesus, that the love that he poured out, Romans 5, 5, is being expressed through us, that we're loving from love, not heading towards love, trying to grow love, but actually the love that is in us, we're learning how to express it because we own it already. All the fullness of, of the Godhead was in Christ and he's in us. And of course, God is love. He has no problem expressing his love. He can express tough love. He can express gentle love. He caresses us with the wind of his spirit. And all these things are heading towards a time that the glory of God that I have witnessed in my life in the 1990s will be far surpassed. Far surpassed. But he wants a vessel that is able to express his love and speak the truth in love. So in this time, God's working in our hearts. 
because he looks at our hearts, because from our hearts the issues of life stem. We can trip ourselves up because submerged in our hearts are things that subconsciously affect our, our thinking, affect our reactions, affect that the way that we cooperate and work with others. Whether we are those that dispute always because our hearts are battling to trust. We can't rely on anybody. Nobody can rely on us. So God is shifting us at this time into a place where the language of love can be expressed through us so that the glory of God can manifest in his love through us.